What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV. Today we're going to check out Aruba. We're going to talk about the things you need to know when visiting this island paradise just north of Venezuela. In this travel guide you'll learn about the beaches, the food, some of the outdoor activities that you can do while you're actually visiting. I spent almost a week on the island and these are my takeaways that I want to share with you. All right, guys, let's talk about safety on the island. What I've experienced, what I've seen, what I've heard. So it seems like the most dangerous activities that tourists do out here, the activities and the tours, they're not exactly regulated. So with that being said, you have to take it upon yourself to kind of go the extra mile and make sure everything is up to your safety standards. Also in picking the vehicles that you'll be going on, you want to make sure they've got seat belts, helmets, that's where the accidents happen to people out here. Now in terms of crime, violent crime, petty crime, I would say overall it's been a very safe experience, especially if you stick to the tourist areas and not go into some of the uh, local communities unless you have been invited. So sticking to the tourist communities, sticking to the tourist path will be safe for you. And don't dabble in any of the drugs or anything that some tourist destinations tend to offer. Not saying that they have that here, but you know, when you do get into those kind of situations, that's when things can happen that are not in your favor. All right, guys, let's talk about weather in Aruba. So the climate here is considered a desert. So this is considered a desert island, not a tropical island. Uh, a lot of people want to know about hurricanes. When is hurricane season? Well, hurricane season obviously in the Atlantic begins in uh, June and doesn't end until around November. But Aruba for the most part is out of the pathway, although here at the Natural Bridge, where we're at now, there was a big bridge which collapsed in around 2005. And they say that Hurricane Ivan was to blame for that, but not all because of Hurricane Ivan because they actually used to let cars drive over that um, but this is considered baby bridge the one that I'm standing on now so there's the old uh, bridge but anyway uh, it's considered a desert island doesn't get a lot of rain there's not a lot of rain here and that's what people like about Aruba it's arid but uh, right now here in March average temperatures very beautiful low 80s really 80s year-round Aruba so just north of Venezuela hey guys let's talk about transportation on the island as you can see right in front of me here we have a tour that's one of the best ways to get around safely is on one of those Depom buses okay there's also rental cars there is no Uber there is no Lyft there's only taxis typically you can meet a taxi right there in front of the airport Cost about $31 to go from the airport, Palm Beach. Uh, so you can do that, no problem. Or you can even get a taxi from the airport down here to Orazestad, which is gonna cost you around $21. Uh, getting the rental car is obviously going to be an easy option if you wanna have that flexibility. But from my experience, the safest, most convenient way is to use taxis and tours but if you feel comfortable driving around the island no problem now they do have those collectivo buses i've taken the collectivo buses it's two dollars per person it took me from uh palm beach down to the downtown area where i'm at right now and that only cost me two dollars so it's not too bad four dollars to go round trip <laughs> and they pick up at various different destinations all right let's talk about outdoor activities what kind of activities well you can see they've got these water sports right here they've got the banana boat they've got the uh, couch that you go cruise around out there they've also got the catamaran catamaran is very popular or if you like island tours doing the off-road tour i did that today i went over to uh baby beach which is all the way on the other end of the island this is the west side that's on the east side we also have submarine explorer with atlantis adventures i remember those from kona but here's a look at that catamaran tour they also have several other tours like the palm island okay they have walking tours 
of the downtown Aranistad. There's the uh, catamaran. You can see they're lining up for that at the Palm Pier. We're gonna have some fun today. They got parasailing. So lots of activities when you come out here. Uh, or you can just rent your own car or off-road vehicle and do what you want. So fishing down at the marina, I saw those boats, sailfish, all sorts of different fishing activities you can do here. You know, let's talk about beaches because that's what Aruba really seems to be known for. So let's talk about at least four that are like the prime time beaches. You've got Eagle Beach, okay, that's right next to this one, which is called Palm Beach. These are on the sunset side. So when the sun sets, facing west, okay, this is Palm Beach. Eagle Beach, like I said, probably number one in the world. Then there's just south of Eagle Beach, a beach called Divi Beach. I really like Divi Beach. I highly recommend it. But there's also one on the east side that I just went to today as well, that I can also vouch for as being nice. Although this is <laughs> really chill here. If you like a place where you can definitely see what's underneath you, check out Baby Beach on the east side of the island. So those are the four beaches that really stood out to me while I was here. You can go around and check out other beaches. Those four right there seem to be solid recommendations for you. But look at this, amazing. Let's talk restaurants. Right here we have one of my favorites, which is the Pelican Nash Seafood and Grill. Great lobster. Let's go in there and take a look. And when it comes to drinks, plenty of margaritas, lots of beer, but the seafood, the lobster, the shrimp, the tuna, and even the catch of the day, whatever that may be. The main beer out here is called Chill, as you can see that beer right there, but plenty of margaritas, tequila, very much Caribbean food right here in Aruba. You know what? Let's talk about things to do when you come to Aruba. Here I am in Palm Beach. This is a great place to do uh, nightlife, but that's a comedy show that you can see, Aruba Rays. But yeah, this is the Palm Beach area. Okay, they have two main areas that you may frequent for nightlife. Other area is Aronistad. That's the downtown area. Now, uh, we talked about some of the activities like parasailing, kite surfing, hanging out at the beach is obviously a very popular one. Frequenting many different variety of restaurants. The food here is great, especially the lobster, the seafood, the shrimp. Uh, I really enjoyed even the fried chicken wings. I mean, the fried chicken wings everywhere I've gone have been tremendous. But other things to do aside from that, off-roading the north side of the island. They've got the uh, lighthouse, the Faro Lighthouse. Okay, California Faro, Faro, California. They also have the Aloe uh, Farm. For those of you who are into Aloe, they have Donkey Sanctuary. If you like feeding donkeys, I think kids like that, uh, especially animal lovers like going to the Donkey Sanctuary. There is also the bridge. So there's an old bridge, natural bridge that kind of collapsed and now they have the baby bridge. But the north side of the island is a fun thing to do, uh, especially if you enjoy off-roading. Just make sure you wear clothes that is going to be available to get kind of dusty, okay? But other things to do include water activities, you can see going out for drinks, and doing some luxury stuff when you're out here. They have a lot of luxury uh, opportunities for people who are into that. All right, let's talk about the people of Aruba. They are called Arubianos, and they speak Papiamento, but they also speak Spanish, Dutch, and English. But I would say, of all those languages spoken here, 
the top two are going to be Spanish and English. So Papiamento being the native tongue that the people who are local here speak, Dutch being that they're a colony or a province or territory of Holland, the Netherlands, but for the most part, English and, oh, look at this, we've got up here, Spanish. I mean, considering the fact that we're so close to Venezuela, Colombia, they all speak Spanish out there. So you'll notice a lot of Spanish speaking going on here. But 60 to 70% of the tourists that come here are from the United States. So a lot of English, there you go. All right, let's talk hotels. Here I am in front of the Hyatt Regency Casino. So gambling on the island is considered legal. Uh, if you want a hotel that is a chain corporate hotel, you can come here to Palm Beach. This is where they have the Hyatt that you're looking at now, a very beautiful hotel. They also have Marriott. They have a Hilton down here. All of them have the casinos. I'm staying in the Marriott Courtyard, okay? So they have a variety of different chain hotels, but if you don't want a chain hotel, you can stay more towards Eagle Beach. They don't have many chain hotels. There's also Rue and Barcelo, which are these big buildings, but Palm Beach is really where the corporate uh, hotels are. Like I said, go towards Aryanjasad. You're gonna get more of the local uh, branded hotels like the uh, residency, but here we go, Hyatt Regency Resort Spa and Casino. Like I said, I'll try to put some links below to some of these rewards programs that I personally use. Look how they hold this tree up right here. But yeah, hotels out here, they're not as expensive as I thought they were. It just depends on peak season, but you can find a reasonably priced hotel around 150. Uh, also, Airbnbs are all over the island on the Palm Beach side, as well as the other sides of the island by the main town of Ronestad. So anyway, great place to get some nice hotels, especially during off season. Windy season is probably when people are not coming here, which is the summer. So let's talk about uh, the documents that you'll need when you come to visit Aruba. So all that is required at this particular moment is you to fill out a form online. It's called a departure form. You need to tell them when you arrive, what flight, you get a QR code, and that's basically all she wrote. There's no need to get a negative test to come in. There's no need to get, uh, you know, one of those shots in your arm. Uh, so none of that's required here. But going back to your home country, in this case, the United States, they still require um, negative testing and a couple other documents. But getting in here, no sweat. So shout out to Aruba for making it very simple to arrive at this destination. So you want to talk like a local? Well, here we go. Some words for you. Di nada. You're welcome. Hey, douchey, my sweetheart. Douchey is a word that's common here. The douchey, viento. Hydra. There you go. Amita Pipadushi. 